Is Music Lab's musical eye test too simplistic? I thought it was a legitimate test to accurately predict one's musical knowledge. Now, I know there are three main tests. In all honesty, I didn't have trouble with it. Keep in mind, I taught myself ear training. The test Musical Lab came up with can understandably be hard to non musicians. The differences in the test can sometimes be interperceptible to an average untrained ear. Ear training does help getting a better overall score, and more understanding on another test Music Lab offers. To say that Music Lab made the perfect musical eye test, is something I disagree with. There are sight-reading musicians and non-sight-reading musicians, but I know how demanding gigs are it's very competitive to put your music out and keep coming up with authentic music and the more knowledge one can obtain about music's underlying patterns will most likely succeed. Whether you're a musician or non-musician, anyone can change the way they hear music by ear training step by step like I taught myself. And I guess another aspect of music I ponder right now is does musical understanding impact music compositional ability? I would agree. When one pursues music and the basic principles that underlying it you get better by analyzing music and when it sounds better you hear consonant playing. Harmonious playing can have underlying dissonance. And that does sometimes work in a musical context. In music, for me at least I listen to whatever sounds musically good. Relevant and not too simplistic but simple enough that it works without fail. In its underlying structure, I know that even complex thoughts can have an underlying simplicity that is more comprehensive as new information is being created and discovered too, but not so simple that would not get better as time goes on the notion of something new, something more. I think those moments and an open mind for whatever sounds good to the musician and creator of the music. A comprehensive understanding of what mechanics behind the underlying initial basic concepts don't necessarily have to be complex in fundamental understanding. If it were too simple, you wouldn't be able to grasp whatever you study in its entirety. And if it were too complex you would be able to understand more than you already know about that's when narrow minds sometimes make a mistake. And go on using wrong ideas that aren't grounded in fundamental understanding sometimes that is the overthinker type of person that needs experience the learn by doing type. Or I suppose a rote learner needs to be taught the way that works. That is what I think led me to be more analytical in music. I hear music differently just by using a method that I created that is tried and true.